Hi family, welcome to the Car Pathway of Cooking. Before we get started on this video, please leave a like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you never miss a single video. Hello everyone, welcome to the Car Pathway of Cooking. My name is Alicia, and thank you so much for clicking onto my channel today. I want to welcome the new ones to the channel and the ones that been with me and keep coming back. I really do appreciate it. Now you new ones, go ahead on and subscribe to the channel. And everyone else, give me a thumbs up and share my videos and send me some positive comments. I will really appreciate it. And today what I want to prepare for you all is Mexican cornbread muffins. And this is done my way, okay? Um, and what I'm going to use, I'm not making a homemade with a homemade cornbread um, mix. I'm using Jiffy today. If you prefer to make your own cornbread, do that, please, because you have to eat it, all right? So, to begin with dry ingredients, I'm going to use two boxes of Jiffy cornbread mix. Gonna pour it back up. And these are the regular um, 8.5 ounce boxes. And I'm gonna use some onion. This is not much onion. Onion is optional. Okay? It's optional. I had some jalapeno peppers. In the refrigerator, um, I reseeded them and drained the liquid off of them because we really don't want that heat, but we want the flavor. And I, mean, I use two. Oh, that was the to ask you how many jalapeno peppers you use in this. I only use two. Okay. If you like, you can use more. Okay. And I have two eggs. I already um, taken them out of the shell. And what I do, I put them in a bowl first to make sure that there's no shells in there because we do not eat shells. It's two eggs. These are um, medium sized eggs. So you don't scramble them, you just... No, I'm not gonna oh, okay. beat them up. Okay. Beat the eggs. Okay. Um, um, what I'm going to use as well, I have one stick of unsalted butter. I melted it already. One can of sweet cream corn, okay? Actually, I'm gonna use about half a can to start with. Sour cream, not much sour cream. Let me open it up. I think I need a knife. Need a knife. Yes, hand me a knife, please. A small one, you know, that's good. Thank you. Okay. Sour cream is good. Sour cream, y'all. That's my oven. I have my oven preheating at 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Jack, can you close that um, utensil drawer, please? Yep. Yeah. I'm going to add about two tablespoons of this sour cream. Sour cream is optional, family. You don't have to put that in there. It's optional. I want a lot of cheese. I have sharp cheddar cheese. You can use any type of cheese that you like. Your preference. I'm 
going to use probably about a good full cup of cheese. And I have all my ingredients in here. I'm going to add a little milk if I need it. Which I think I'm going to need it because it's dry. My stiff. It's getting stiff, yeah. I have a cup, but I, I doubt if I use the whole cup, okay? Maybe half a cup. To start with, anyways. Because I want the right consistency. Can you see what I'm doing, Jacob? Okay. I didn't need um, too much milk because of the liquid in the corn, the cream style corn. And you can add as much um, jalapeno peppers that you like. You are cooking according to what you and your family like, okay? add the rest of this corn in here. You want it cheesy, Jacob? Yep. Alright. Let's get some more cheese. Not extremely cheesy, but I want to taste the cheese in it. <laughs> you don't know what I'm doing here. How's everybody doing? <clears throat> I hope all is well with you all. Hope all is well. We're doing good over here on the cart pathway. Jacob. I'm just so I was early on. Yeah. Because I finally want to see what I'm doing. Okay. They are in there. It's in their living room right now. Say what now? They're in the living it's in the living room right now, your bowl. Good. I want it in your kitchen. Where the kitchen also. Oh, that's gonna be creamy, y'all. All right, when you make yours, you know what consistency you want. This is the consistency that I want. Okay. Now, what I need to do at this point is spray my muffin pan. And I use this same muffin um, pan with my chocolate chip brownie muffin, which was delicious. And y'all, I must yeah. say, out of six muffins, I ate five of them. Jacob ate one. Mm. <laughs> they were just that good. But anyways, this is what I'm using. And this is the Texas size, okay? That means they're twice as the size as your regular muffin pan. I'm gonna spray the sides. Like a non-stick? Yes, oh. just a non-stick cooking spray. Spray that angle too. Yeah. Of, yeah. I'm 
want to make sure I get it good and straight. One thing I forgot, if you're using Jiffy cornbread mix, sometimes it comes in clunks once you pour it out of the box. Take your fork and you can press the clunks out of it, okay? I didn't do it here, but normally I do. And what I'm going to use is my large scoop. And you just put one scoop in each? Yes. Cup. Okay. If I was using the um, smaller one, mm -hmm. probably use, or the medium one, I would probably use um, two scoops. This is just your regular ice cream scoop. And what I have left, I may just put it in a pan. And maybe just cornbread? Just yep. regular cornbread? Just regular old cornbread. Y'all following me with this? It's a simple recipe. I'm just doing it my way. You don't have to add all the ingredients that I'm adding. Okay? Here we go. And what I'm going to do next is put this in the oven. Just put it in the oven and let it bake. I'm thinking about 25 to 30 minutes, but I don't know. I will let you know exactly how long I let it bake for, and um, we will be right back. All right, family, we are back. This is the end result. You notice there's only five up there. Um, we already started eating on one. I'm gonna show it to you all and let you all taste the piece. Came out perfect. You can see the jalapeno peppers inside. Actually, these are still warm. You wanna set it aside once it come out and let it cool down a bit, okay? It is so tasty and moist inside. I didn't want mine to be dry, but if you want your texture to be a little drier, add less uh, corn, cream corn, and less um, sour cream, however you want it. I didn't want mine to be dry inside, but this is the end result. But um, This is what's left. This is how I wanted mine to be, moist inside with the corn. This is for you all. There's something I do want to mention. I let my muffins cook at 400 degrees Fahrenheit for about 30 minutes. My oven wattage may be a little different than yours. You know how your, your oven cooks. You know if it cooks a little faster or a little slower. So you may have to make some adjustments there, okay? Um, I know how mines cook. You know, mines cook kind of fast sometimes. And I, I know this. So I keep an eye on whatever I'm baking. So I advise you to keep an eye on whatever you're baking as well. But I do want you to try this. It is so tasty. It is really good, y'all. It came out perfect. I don't, didn't want mine dry inside. If you don't want it as moist, let it stay in your oven a few more minutes, okay? But give this a try. And I do want to say this. I hope everyone who is safe, there's a hurricane out there. Um, if you're in the path of the hurricane, please be careful, family. Please be careful. Um, and take care of your people. Make sure they are safe as well. I'm gonna taste this one. Well, 
finished eating it. I already tasted it and Jacob tasted it. And the mixture that I had left over, it's in the oven, it's in a regular um, baking dish. I think a nine by 13. So we're gonna have the regular um, bacon dish um, full of cornbread, with cornbread in it. And we're gonna have the muffins. And I'm going to make a soup tomorrow. And I'm going to eat the muffin and the cornbread along with the soup. And I know- If any left. Yeah, if any is <laughs> left. But um, I want you all to check out my chicken, homemade chicken and dressing. It is delicious, it's spot on, and the macaroni and cheese. Homemade macaroni and cheese, I make it my way. But it is delicious, you all gonna love it. In fact, just click on the playlist and watch all of my videos and share them and give them a try, okay? But let me taste this for you. This is good. I put just enough jalapeno peppers in it. You can taste that cheese flavor. Mm. You can taste the sour cream. That corn. Everything came together. Tastes good. It has just a little kick on the back end. Perfect. Give it a try. Thank you for watching. I always stay humble and kind. I don't mean to chew and talk at the same time, but I'm just going to end this video so I can continue to eat. But anyway, family, thank you for watching. Continue to support me. It means so much. It means so much. And be humble and kind. Take care of yourself, be safe, and check out my playlist. I think I have about 61 videos up there. Check them out, and I will catch you all on the next video.